Hello everyone, welcome to Lush and Salty Aquariums. A bit unusual today, I'm going to uh, film my saltwater tank, 125 gallon uh, mixed reef tank. Uh, when the lights are out, it's daylight before they uh, kick on. But I was intrigued by the overall vibe of the tank at this time because a number of the corals are out. The flat uh, mid-morning light is actually pretty flattering even if uh, not showing off the tank anywhere near its full potential. The fish are very frisky all front and center so I thought I'd kind of give an overview about what's in the tank in terms of the species of fish. Um, bearing in mind you see my reflection all that's a function of the uh, flat light. This is a beautiful large fairy wrasse that's swimming out from view. Um, yesterday I inadvertently caught it when I was pulling um, a bunch of water out to do my brine shrimp. I use water right from this tank to hatch baby brine shrimp for my freshwater fish. I believe that's a red-headed fairy wrasse or um, it's right one of those blunt-headed fairy wrasses. I forget they have a uh, a number of different names for a fish that looks very, very similar. This is Bull, my largest and oldest fish in the tank. It's a simple Petco sailfin tank that has grown to be about <laughs> at least a half a pound. Uh, it could fit uh, fully in a frying pan. This is a magnificent fox face, a uh, beautiful uh, fox face fish. There is another slightly more common variety, um, and he or she is uh, middle-aged now and has beautiful coloration beyond the uh, distinctive fox face pattern. Hey, fairy ras, there you are again. Now I have the iconic yellow tang who's got a really fat belly. Um, I was very happy that this one took to the tank. I lost the previous one. Um, I think it jumped uh, probably during a water change. And sometimes when you put these in, they can stay thin and um, sort of marginal in the tank and this one has uh, grown and is super happy and the fins are excellent. I have seen sail fins where they, or excuse me, yellow tangs where the finnage has been um, flawed for one reason or another, uh, battling in the tank, banging against corals or just malnourishment. This one is doing terrific. Uh, he or she was being followed by this cleaner wrasse which I've had, and there you go, doing its job, thank you, um, cleaning parasites off of the bigger fish. So you need, if you're gonna keep this cleaner ass while it will eat all the fish food, it needs the slime coat and whatever else is on um, these fish in order to thrive in your tank. Um, in the back here, I have two, a pair of common clown fish. Uh, they, t they host that power head back there. Um, I, can, I could not get them to uh, host any anemone, including one that's right below them, this beautiful green bubble tip, literally below their condo in the sky, but they like it up here. Um, they have spawned on this power head and laid clusters of eggs, but um, those are obviously are not gonna come to fruition in a tank that's as full of uh, predators as this one. Here is a coal tang with the distinctive yellow eye, uh, it, not to be confused with the purple tang. This is more common, hardier fish than that. I'll try to get a better shot of him or her later. The Nyoki wrasse, you saw a glimpse of them down there, is my favorite wrasse of all because it looks like an oil painting. I need to find a picture. It looks like smears of beautiful watercolor uh, were put against its sides literally with a paintbrush. I love those fish. They can be a little expensive um, Around a hundred dollars. Sometimes you find them for 70 or so and then what else do I have there? There he is. Come on. Show me show me show me down at the bottom uh, a sea urchin Beautiful black spiny sea urchin. I've had him forever when he was the size of a golf ball now He's giant monstrous. I have been stung by him uh, if you put your hand in the tank and aren't careful, it, just touching one of those spines, you will get a sharp and painful uh, 
Mark. This is my beautiful, beautiful, uh, weird file fish. They are a weird fish by any measure, especially when the novice uh, looks at them, they're like, what the heck? But uh, he has helped me uh, immeasurably by removing the Aptasia, which is the sort of, I call them the pigeons of the reef tank. They just start to cluster and grow. They're a ugly anemone that can hurt other fish and overtake and overpower a tank. I can't find a single one up here, although occasionally I see them in the sump. And I attribute that success to um, that Aptasia file of Aptasia eating file fish. I think I've covered most of the swimming uh, creatures, but not the invertebrates. I have a uh, coral banded shrimp in here. I have a cleaner shrimp in here, fire shrimp, uh, a few snail varieties, although I'm not a big saltwater snail guy for whatever reason. I do have the Nesseria snail. I think that's how they say it, but they're under the sand now. They will come up. Uh, when there's food in the water and they also can scavenge uh, a dead fish pretty damn quickly uh, and an ill fish even they will overtake them so you see a lot of the corals haven't um, polyped out because of the lack of light this one has but uh, there's a certain beauty to the flatness of uh, the tank I really beg your pardon for the uh, Reflections. I hope you stayed with me because it's been a pretty solid review of this tank. Tell me what you think. Questions, comments, concerns. Have a wonderful day or evening depending on when you review this. And always keep your hands in the tank. Ciao for now.